Hey, welcome back to the show. So glad you guys are here with us right now talking about butter sauce and all <laughs> what we need. Yes, I think uh, I, I need butter sauce right now. Uh, uh, the great debate, Ch chicken wings, uh, don't eat wings, all this kind of stuff. Uh, but we're going to get right to it. Uh, we're, gonna, we're here with Christina from Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Yes, uh, she's here with us. And you know I always do the hard-hitting questions. Boneless or with bone? You know, it was a tough question, but definitely boneless. Okay, so you're you're on Team Pels, boneless. Yes, Absolutely. all yous out there. <laughs> so answer in the chat if you if you like the boneless or if you don't. Uh, but going off of that question now, do you like mild, like a little bit of hot, like a medium, or do you like hot hot, or do you like butter sauce? After hearing the butter sauce, that was pretty tempting. <laughs> but thinking about Buffalo Wild Wings, I always go for the honey barbecue. So you got it more on the mild side, but a little bit of ting, you know. Yeah, yeah, honey barbecue is a, is a good it's, one. It's, it's a good one. You cannot go wrong. Yeah, it's it's not too much. Uh, I messed up one time because uh -oh. I love honey barbecue, but I said honey mustard. Honey mustard is good though too. Uh, not the and not when you want honey barbecue. You know when you uh, you're like you're I've been like craving mentally preparing yes, for it yeah. and <laughs> craving for it and I then come back and it's honey, honey mustard. mustard and it was a lot more mustard than honey. And, oh, uh, that's not as good. Not as good. Not I do have good. to clarify though, no no one can feed me the the boneless ones. Oh okay. That was that was I, I was wrong. You, it was a good guess, but <laughs> so okay, so you don't want anyone dipping in, in your sauce. And, no, uh, I'll I'll handle my fork. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Good for you. I uh, I guess I was wrong, people. The first time in history, and it's filmed. I was wrong. Uh, well, let's get to know a little bit more about you and, yeah. and what you do. Uh, can you tell us a little bit, what is Fellowship with Christian Athletes? Yeah, so I work for FCA, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. And if you are completely unfamiliar with what that is, it's basically a sports ministry where we, we target coaches and athletes and people who are involved with sports, which, as we know, are many people mm -hmm. in this world and just use that as a platform to spread the good news of Jesus Christ. And, um, you know, we hit lots of different age groups, anywhere from elementary through professional adult aged people. So it's really cool that we can, through our different aspects within FCA, reach that many people. And we are international as well, so we have stuff going on overseas and then a lot of stuff happening in the U.S. But. Cool. So you're saying like middle school, high school, all those kind of stuff and all the way to the pros, like mm -hmm. well, how do middle schoolers and high schoolers, how do they get involved or how does that process work? Yeah, one of the biggest things targeting middle school and high school students is our campus ministry. And so during the school year, we have in the country, we have like over 9,300 campuses that have oh, wow. FCA ministry on them. And again, that's middle schools, high schools, and colleges. Okay. And so maybe some of you guys know about FCA at your school, um, or if you don't have FCA at your school, it is absolutely something you should get started, especially if you're involved in sports. Um, but yeah, so we have the campus ministry, and then we have camps during the, during the summer. And um, those are also for, I mean, even goes down to elementary level oh, for, wow. for our camps, but middle school, high school, and then we have College, the college age are more, they become huddle leaders for the younger students at the camps, but there's also a couple camps for college athletes as well. Now I'm going off course a little bit, you you are international, which is mm -hmm. impressive. Is that more where it's more pro, or is it the same stuff happening overseas as here? Um, I would say it's probably more focused on the camps overseas right oh, now. Camps? We're okay. kind of still in a huge developmental stage internationally, nice. but we have, we have FCA staff overseas working in their they're going at it. Oh, that's great cool. overseas. That's yeah. Cool. Now, what do you specifically do? Yeah. Well, I am an area representative, so I I work in Northeast Indiana and cover four kind of four five counties. Four and a half. I share a county with our other area rep in the area. Um, but yeah, I oversee campus ministry during, during the school year, so I support FCA ministries that are already in place. And then I also try to get others started in other schools because um, there's endless opportunity to get more ministry in more places. Now, now, how do you get something started? Like, say there's a person right there that maybe it's a teacher watching or maybe it's mm -hmm. a student. What's the first way to say, hey, maybe we need to look at getting this at our school. How would they go about doing something like that? 
if, if a student or a teacher is interested, then getting in, in touch with us at our office. Um, you can go online at fca.org or for our state, there's, it's indianafca.org. Um, but there'll be a list of staff that you can get in touch with and then we have the resources that you need and the, everything that you need to help you get started. So yeah, this is good information, uh, mm -hmm. but you got some events coming up. One mm -hmm. is uh, is local, but it happens all around. What, what's this local event that you're having in September? Yeah, it's called Fields of Faith, and it's something that happens annually around the country at many different campuses um, every year. Um, but it's it's basically a student-led event where students are going to come and lead worship, share their testimonies. But the the main goal of Fields of Faith is to encourage people to have a relationship with Jesus Christ, but also to encourage them to be in the Word in Scripture, because that's obviously so important, and then also to get involved in their local church. Um, so it's a very vague goal, but very important goal of, of what we do with Fields of Faith. And the one in Fort Wayne is happening at Parkview Field at the end of September, um, but most of the other Fields of Faith, it's the second, we second Wednesday in October, so I think that's October 8th this fall. Mm -hmm. And um, there won't be a ton of information online about it right now, but getting closer to the event, you'll be able to go online and find all the different campuses around the country that are hosting the Fields of Faith. To yeah, attend. so make sure you guys are looking for that, mm -hmm. uh, especially if you have FCA around that your area, mm -hmm. pay attention to it, because it, it might be happening. But if you're local, which we have a lot of people watching that are local, yeah. it's at Parkview Field. It's yep. the biggest place, basically, <laughs> in Fort Wayne. The There's, place to be yeah. on September 24th. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It is the place to be. Uh, monster truck rallies don't hold a candle to this. <laughs> like so, no. So we got that coming up, uh, mm -hmm. which is really exciting. Uh, but then the rest of them are in October, mm -hmm. October eighth, and uh, uh, on the date, and that, that is correct. So make sure you guys check that out. Can uh, now can churches get involved in this, or how how does that work? Yes, absolutely. We want anyone and everyone involved in this. We want to make a community wide event where we're working on the whole church pair church partnerships and. Yeah, we want to get campuses involved, churches involved, anyone and everyone. <laughs> no, that's uh, that's awesome. Um, uh, last uh, last thing before uh, we get heading out is how can uh, people just get involved? Like, is it uh, mm -hmm. because sometimes they, they might hear about it, or it might even be going on your cam uh, on the campus right now? How do people get in? Uh, like, kids get involved? Like for the campus? Yeah, ministry for the part campus ministry part and for camps and all that kind of stuff. How do how do kids get involved in this? Um, well, if they know of one at their school, then asking about it is seeing what, when it meets and then going to it, <laughs> pretty much physically moving your body to the actual meeting. Um, if there is not one at your school, again, um, just get, one would be finding an adult sponsor, which would usually be a teacher or coach at your school. Sometimes it's a youth pastor or it can be a parent. But we like, we like to get the people who are at the schools and know the kids well yeah. to um, really get the ministry going at their school. Um, but then we also do camps in the summer and that's another way to kind of get more informed about FCA and also have an awesome camp experience. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so um, I'm going to ask, like, where, what do you guys do for camps? Like, what's go, what goes on? Where do you guys hold, uh, do you guys hold them all across the country? Or yeah, yep. Yeah, we hold camps all over the place. Um, there's two that we have in Fort Wayne, which I won't go into detail right now. But um, there's a bunch of different types of camps. There's sports camps, sports-specific camps. There's leadership camps, um, team camps, partnership camps. There's coaches camps. There's... Camps so much galore. stuff. Yes, yes. So make sure you guys check it out. And uh, what I think she said that was great too is so many times we're like, oh, yeah, I've heard of that. You might physically have to walk over and talk mm -hmm. to someone. It, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Go over there, figure it out, talk to them. See, I, I'm sure they are great people and want you to connect uh, with them. So make sure you guys do that today. Can you make sure uh, you let people know where they can go to find you or to find uh, FCA where they can log mm -hmm. on to make sure that they know, hey, this is what's coming up. Yeah, if you are in the Indiana area, go to indianafca.org. Otherwise, if you are outside of Indiana, just go to fca.org and you'll be able to get connected to your state or local office through our national website. That's uh, awesome. I want to thank you for coming in today, yeah, hanging out you. with me a couple minutes, talking about chicken wings, talking about <laughs> it all. The most important thing, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got that out of the way early. Uh, but no, uh, 
fca.org. It's a simple way. It's not a lot of spelling, people. It's not one of those long ones. So you can check it out today. Check it out right now. Thanks again for joining yeah, us on the show. Yeah, thanks for having me. And uh, we will play some music, and we will be right back here on the Seriously Serious Show.